Morning guys, welcome back to Dub Ventures. Now today's video is all about fitting a seat bracket cause we've had a delivery. So if you've watched any of our previous videos, you'll see that we've been thinking, weighing up all the pros and cons about having a swivel seat for this seat or having a folding bracket, which means that this bit of the seat can fold down and it also gives it a 10% um recline so that obviously makes it more comfortable for uh, um, any passengers sitting in the seat like i said if you've watched any of our previous videos we've weighed up all the pros and the cons of ha having like each one and we've basically decided that we're having the folding seat bracket um done now i'm actually going to try and fit this today myself now I'm not a mechanic, I'm not an engineer, I'm not anything like that, so um, I'm going to obviously see if I can fit this myself. Uh, one of my friends is uh, lending me some of the tools, um, he's actually on his way now, uh, so we can get it done. So, first things first, um, I'm going to unbox this and show you guys what's in the box. Right guys, now obviously I've already opened this, um, it actually came a couple of days ago, but I wasn't able to do anything with it, I'll tell you why in a minute. Just showing you how it comes packed, it comes nice and packed all protected and everything so so basically this is the bracket now it's got like a little handle here that moves up and down and a screw and everything now i'm obviously going to show you properly how this works after um basically if you unscrew this screw this comes down and what this does is it allows this part which is going to be on the sort of like in the middle of the seat and that moves up and down and locks into place so just showing you obviously how that works on the seat that's on it now this is just one solid piece so obviously this bit can't move uh, isn't possible to move and like i said when it's fitted this bit will move which allows the seat to go backwards and forwards now when i ordered this it came I'll just take this out with this screw now you probably won't be able to tell but the screw is quite bulky and it's bent as well um so i actually contacted uh, the people that i bought it from and they kindly, if I get it in my pocket, sent me a new one, which is a lot slimmer and a lot sleeker. So uh, that's why I had to wait an extra day uh, for this screw to arrive. Because this one, like I said, it's it's bent and it doesn't screw in properly. Because this is actually a locking mechanism. But again, when it's all fitted, I'll actually show you how it works. Right guys, so obviously I've lifted the front bit of the seat up and as you can see, this is the bracket that's um, the original one that's in the seat. Now what we need to do is, we need to take this bolt out, this bolt out, and I'll just now go around and show you, on this side, we'll have to take the seatbelt bracket out. So yeah, so what we need to do is, this is a, a cover, I'm just going to take this off in a minute, and then underneath here, there's a bolt to take the seatbelt bracket off, because that's held onto the bracket there as well. The other thing is as well guys, what we need to do is, the actual side piece that holds on obviously to the side of the seat there's two bolts here one there and one just next to it just there and there they need to be loosened and then this one that needs to come out so obviously this bit of the seat when the bracket comes out that can slide up now there's one of these on the other side as well so that needs to be, be loosened as well right guys it turns out that i'm not able to get the tool behind there to loosen this to actually get the backrest off so what i'm going to have to do is there's these bolts here around the base i'm going to have to take them
Right guys, so I've actually got the seat out, everything, everything's a mess at the moment because obviously I pulled everything out from under there. So what I'm doing now is, or what my friend is doing, is just unhooking the bottom piece of the material off of there. It's just a, like a U-hook that goes on, because obviously we need to get to the bolts now to take this out. So I'm going to unhook this and then get to the rest of the bracket. Right guys, so what we've done here is we've took these bolts out um, and basically there's, I think there's three of them um, but if you look at the old bracket that will show you obviously where they are so take these out and then this oh, there's another one there so oh, is it, is it, please so, oh yeah so just unscrew That one is the one underneath it. Oh yeah, and there's one below it. It's quite difficult trying to film this and obviously do it at the same time, but I've got to keep you guys happy. So, this. There you go. One old bracket to be replaced by that one. Right guys, we've managed to get the bracket in. It is a little bit fiddly and it's quite a tight fit. So um, we've got the bolts just down there. So all we're gonna do now is we're just gonna tighten it up and then get it fitted back in. Now, the thing is, um, we can put a piece of wood in there that's gonna make this obviously more solid, but we don't have the wood yet. So what we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna put it all back on, fit the bracket um, back onto the seat because this can be folded down, the wood can be put in afterwards. So let's carry on. Right guys, so we've got the seat on now. Um, it is definitely a two-man job to do this because obviously this has to be lifted in um, for this to slot in. So we've got the new bracket in now. Uh, we've just put the bolts in just to hold it in place. So now we're gonna put everything back together, get the seat bolted back down, go from there. Right guys, just screwing the uh, bolts of the actual seat down now. Right guys, so we've got the bracket um, all fitted now and everything, works really well, I'll give you a demonstration of that in a minute and then I'll, I'll sit in the back and I'll show you, you know, obviously what it looks like when it's uh, like fully flat, obviously sat in the back, give a better idea of what it looks like. Now, like I said, I've not got the wood piece yet to put in the, here to make it solid so that obviously you can sit on it and so on. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to leave um, these um, unhooked on both sides because there's no point actually me trying to uh, obviously uh, put that back on when I'm gonna have to take it off again to put that in so right guys we're at b and Cube to get this wood right guys I've actually found what it is that I want I'm going for the 9mm MDF which I've just pulled out here so I'm going to go and ask them at B&Q because they do a cutting service if they can cut it down to size for me and then obviously I'll do the final cuts to get it in. But I've gone for the 9mm so it's nice and thick obviously when I slide it into the seat so that's why I picked that one. Right guys, it's actually the day after now. Um, it was quite late last night when I picked that wood up at B&Q but I did actually cut the wood last night. Now, um, I'll actually put a picture on here and um, that's the dimensions of the wood, how it needs cutting and everything so obviously you can have a quick look at that. Um, what I've done is I've actually fitted the wood now um, into the seat um, because obviously the bracket is on now and everything. So I'll just quickly show you that. So I've got the seat folded flat now. You can just see the bit of wood just there. So what it's done is I've actually um, cut a piece out so it's like there so it actually fits up. Now this now is actually solid. Um, you know, I, I could sit on that now um, and it won't be any issue. Um, like I said, I've got the piece of wood in there. Now, I'm not going to lie, I really, really struggled. It took me a long time to get these clips um, like back together. What I didn't realise was you're supposed to like hook the plastic under and up and over for it to sit on the lip. I thought it just like clipped in and it kept popping off and I couldn't understand why it kept coming off. But yeah, it was a bit of a nightmare that because like I said, I've, you know, I've not done anything like this before. So, so yeah, so basically, uh, got the seat folded like that. What I'll just quickly do in a second, um, I'll set the camera up and then I'll show you from the back, I'll actually lift it up. So what you should be able to see here is, obviously from the back, 
you just basically lift the seat up and it just clicks into place now the thing is one thing that i was a little bit concerned about was i thought that when i fit the new bracket you know it may be like have a little bit of play or something because it's not the original bracket but i can tell you now that's absolutely solid right guys what you can see here is i'll put a picture uh just on here now and um, show you what it was like before but you can actually see like the angle of the seat you know it's got a 10 percent uh, recline there so yeah really pleased with that so i'm just gonna go and have a sit in it now see what it feels like and just before i do that i'll just like quickly show you there's the lock screw just undo that you push that handle down and sorry this is gonna be a bad camera angle because i need to just pull the seat but yeah so basically put that down pull the seat down and then it's nice and flat and then to put it back up you just simply push it back up locks into place and like i said that is absolutely solid and then as a safety feature so you can't push that up and down all you do here just turn this locking screw in and then you can't push that down anymore right guys so that's basically the seat bracket fitted um it took about an hour um to like get everything out and get the bracket fitted obviously i've never done it before if i had to fit another one um it would be a lot quicker because i know exactly where everything goes and everything now um the only thing that i didn't expect and i didn't know um is i didn't think i would have to actually undo all the seat bolts to take the seat out to undo like the little um side pieces at the edges of the seat but that's one thing that i didn't know how to do but it wasn't a big issue it just obviously just meant that i had to undo all the seat bolts under the seat um take the seat out move it forward to obviously uh, loosen the side pieces for the bracket uh for the old bracket to get it out the other thing that i was a little bit um didn't expect was like i said getting the seat clips uh, the plastic bits uh, hooked back on together but again i didn't know how to do it um and you know obviously i figured it out but it took me to the day after to do it um so obviously i, I managed to get that hooked on but apart from that you know to fix it not a problem it easy anybody can do it but what i will say is you need two people to do it because you need somebody to help you to lift it out put it um lift the back uh, piece out when everything's loose and then obviously when you've got the new bracket on the seat you obviously have to line it up and you can't line it up and put the bolts in at the same time so you, it is a two-person job and guys what i will say is um the 10 percent uh recline that the seat has what a difference it makes it's a massive difference now when we do uh, our trip to cornwall uh which is going to be in about a month uh, what we'll do is obviously Brooke will be um, the passenger when we're driving. Um, I'll speak a little bit about the seat then and obviously, you know, let Brooke tell you how comfortable it is because it makes such a big difference. And the thing is, guys, um, like I said, it took a lot of like thinking for us whether to get like the swivel seat or a folding bracket. But the folding bracket for us is the better option. Now, obviously, in future videos, uh, we'll go into why that is, because obviously when we're on campsites and different things, obviously, we will be able to show you um, how we're going to use a folding bracket. Um, one of the things is um, because obviously we've got that wooden piece in now, we can use it as like a table um you know when we're out camping and so on and the other thing is as well we can put like um thor's bed on top then he can jump up and he can lie on top of here as well so it's a bit of an extra space so uh we'll show you obviously how we're going to how we're going to use it uh in future videos so guys that's today's video uh done with um as it stands at the moment it's only just we've only just done it i've only just finished it but so far i highly recommend it even if we'd only change this bracket just for the 10% recline on the seat, that on its own is worth it because anybody that knows, um, you know, if you've got um, a Volkswagen T5 uh, transporter van, obviously the seats are quite like upright, they're quite uh, rigid and on a long journey it's not comfortable at all. But that recline, it does make a big difference. So just for that reason, I highly recommend it. And then obviously in future videos, uh, we'll show you like, you know, how we're going to use it. Uh, having like an extra bit uh, like we can use it as a table but again we'll show you that in future videos so if today's video has been informative for you please hit that like button if you're new to the channel this is the first time you've clicked on here please feel free to have a browse through all our other videos and if you like i said if you are new please hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell as well and then that way you'll know every time i put a video up right guys thanks for watching today's video lots of videos to come so keep an eye out so until the next time bye for now